I just brushed it off. I told him, hey, I respect that you think like this. Please respect me. I think you did that not that is... say that. Have you questioned your sexuality, lesbians versus straight women? I have no clue about this. Um, but it was the one before this, I think. Yeah, the the teenagers and, and the and the old niggas. I'm about to see what they gotta say. Alright. Conservative teens versus liberal parents. Chat, are you liberal or conservative? No jab to goat, no cap. A five. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, hold on. I was such a dick suck, bro. Neither you a blood. I'm straight. I'm black. Fuck picking sides. Cool. I'm Latina. All right, bro. Round is a social. Ex Nobody said I'm Latina. I just thought about it and thought it'd be funny to think about like a nigga really saying that. All right, chill, chill, chill. I'm a leftist. Stop the dick suck. I didn't even dick suck you. What the fuck? Experiment that brings humans with opposing beliefs together. These discussions opposing may beliefs. contain viewpoints that are the result of misinformation. Remember cool. to seek out experts and to be critical of your own biases while forming an opinion. Please see the humanity in each participant, and as always, we encourage empathy. Like, we're not seeing the humanity in every participant. I don't even know why you asked that. Stop dicking. Okay. You're equating some minor inconveniences in your privileged life to why would you assume my uh, life is privileged? But why would you assume um, my life is privileged, though? Why would, I, I mean, I don't say that about you. Why would you assume my life is privileged? I'm, I'm privileged. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But why, why would you assume my life is privileged? For one, you're a man. Huh? They're unpacking, Chad. Wait, is this too loud? Is it good? Step four. Is the volume okay? already sound like a little bitch <laughs> forward if you agree with the prompt the government has no right to tell people what to do with their body true dang <laughs> there's no way yeah, he had to tell them vaccines the before they well. came up sorry okay I stood here because of vaccines but I know a lot of you guys probably look at me like oh what about abortion now the thing is when it comes to abortion two bodies are involved it's the woman and it's the fetus the fetus you know has a heartbeat it has dna it should have rights when life begins at conception that's not when the heart's there though. heart beats yeah that's not when the heart beats bro like if you want to be like extra logical and shit like that let's just be extra logical starts at four weeks it's not or or factual i'm sorry not just a clump of cells it is life at 21 weeks it can live outside of the womb. Abortion ends with murder and death. Over 90% of abortions happen within the first 10 weeks. That's still, I think that's, that's fair. not acceptable. But they still have the potential of having life though. The mortality rate of a fetus getting aborted is 100%. You know what, honestly, I've seen, I don't even, I've never seen like men ever really be upset or be involved in the conversation of abortion ever like in, in my life really. Um, the men that I see that are like have an opinion about it today are the ones that are upset that women have the option to like delete a quote unquote mistake that they might have made more than they are, you know, advocating for the life of a child. From what I see personally, that's what I've been seeing. But yeah, it's going to die when it's aborted. And you're very but, lucky you'll never have to experience what it's like to have to make that choice. Mm. But what if I what if I what if I become a father and you know, the woman. You don't gotta worry about <laughs> You don't gotta worry about that, G. You are not fucking Who anytime I got pregnant soon. wants to have an abortion. I, it's gonna affect me. You would have a discussion with your partner then uh, and decide what you're gonna do uh, and be glad that you have a choice uh, to, to good, even bro. discuss with that partner. <laughs> Unfortunately, human nature, if you take away the option or the right to do that, then they'll find it another way. And it will be unsafe. And uh, so would you support the mom? Would you support the mom in that scenario? If the mom had an abortion or the no, mom no, went? No, 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 if she gave birth. Oh, of course. I would support her. I'd say what you do is a good thing. And no, 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 support her financially for the rest of her life or for the rest of the baby's life. True. Are you talking about like, what, what do you mean me support her? Like, as How else can you support? Like, if you are facts and logic, Mr. Mr. Cause he's giving me that vibe right now his, his shirt you know you can't be past 20 years old and you dress like you go into a fucking interview to be like an astrophysicist or some shit like that like what 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 other 
physical way could you support a mother and her child other than financially? What do you mean? I'm confused. As a citizen or? If somebody a, has a baby. There, we do have child support and it comes from taxpayer money. There's there, foster there. care, there's adoption, there's mothers waiting. Those systems are very broken and people all the time are trying to stop funding for programs like that. Now, I want to ask you guys, do you, do you support vaccine mandates? Yes. So, so I mean, you, you step forward. Okay, what I, you can't. Okay, that was a weird one. Cause like you can't, I don't support any like government like telling people what they have to do. I want everybody to be able to have the choice. So I'm not gonna be like, okay, I don't want the government to be able to tell a woman that she can't get an abortion in the same way. I don't want a government to have to tell people that they have to get, you know, an injection. Personally, I agree with getting it. I agree with getting it. I do, I agree with getting it. But at the same time, I can't be like, on one side, I agree with it, and then on the other side, I don't. I just don't agree with it. That's just me. I just don't agree with it. But I think you should want to do that. Like, as a human, you should want people to be safe. So I would like to think that they wouldn't have to force anyone to do that. Oh, my God. I would like to think they wouldn't have to force anyone to do that. Gordon said the government shouldn't tell you what to do with your body. That's not equivalent, though. Well, I'm not saying it's equivalent. I just think if you're going to look at these things in this way i think if you're going to look at these things in this way um you just have to be consistent about it i'm not saying that they're equal i'm not saying that you know oh uh a vaccine is the same thing as getting a getting a, a abortion i'm not saying that but i'm also saying that i don't agree with any type of force in that in that regard that's all i'm saying me though why, why would you support my issue is is that i, I will obviously i want people to get it though obviously but I just I just believe in the in the ability to say no. That's all I'm saying. I believe that the government should not be able to tell me what to do with my body, but I have to accept the consequences for the choices that I make with my body. The vaccines for instance. Of course. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying I agree with the ability to choose. But like she's saying she's about to say right now. Instance. I absolutely felt that everyone should get vaccinated. Why? Because this was a pandemic. But if you don't want to, I don't think the government should have to tell you that you have to, but you then have to suffer the consequences of your choices, no, which means you cannot patronize certain places. You can't put other people at- that's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You can't just put random babies like that. What are you talking about babies? She is spitting. Like you gotta accept what comes with not getting it. You can't be mad. You can't be like, okay, I don't want to do this. And then I also don't want to wear a mask. And then I also don't want to give six feet. And I also want to show up at all the parties. And I also want to go. You can't do that. Risk. I know, I know you're saying they're doing it to And no one's saying they're the same thing. I'm just saying. Protect us. But the, co the coronavirus has, a, I think, a survivor of almost 98%, 99%. And we're mandating these vaccines. Why are we not mandating the flu? What's frightening to me is that you're... What? What are you talking about? Equating some minor inconveniences in your privileged life to why would you assume uh, my life is privileged? But why would you assume um, my life is privileged though? You don't you're having this conversation. You're having this conversation. You're you're advocating for these arguments. That's why your life is privileged. You are you have given what if scenarios for everything that they're asking about. That is why you are privileged. You don't have to go through any of this shit, apparently. That's why you're privileged. You don't know my life. Well, I, I mean, I don't say that about you. Why would you see my life is privileged? I'm, I'm privileged. Okay, that's fine. But why, why would it. you see my life is privileged? For one, you're a man. You know, most people commit suicide are men. Most people who work in dangerous workplaces are men. Most people fight in war are men. And who set that system up? Yeah. I'm going to ask the disagree. Uh, I don't know about that argument. Like... It seems it seems like a gotcha. It does. It seems like a gotcha, but at the end of the day, it's like he's a he's a sixteen year old boy. Now he he is unintentionally upholding the establishment that he's complaining about. So for his case, is different. For her to make this argument at him, it makes sense. In general, though, if you were to tell the average guy who's 15 to 18 years old this that doesn't necessarily agree with the system that he's forced to kind of indulge in in order to forward himself it wouldn't be his fault just because he's a man it wouldn't be it, 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 he's 
you're blaming the the few, the way older generations of him. They these aren't the same men. They don't just exist and then oh my god, you all have the same beliefs. That's not how it go. But in his case, she's right. He is a man and he's upholding those same ideas. He just don't think about it that way. Who has to step forward? Well, I think I give a unique perspective on this because I actually do agree with the vaccine mandate. I think COVID was just a huge disaster and I think it could have ended a lot sooner if things were more organized. Definitely. As far as whether the government should intervene on people's bodies, I think there are a lot of instances where the government should. One, to protect the society in general, especially in cases such as a pandemic where um, the disease could literally wipe out cities. In other instances as well, such as drug... Like, even still, and I agree with what he's saying, well, I gotta hear the rest of what he's saying, but they do the same thing with, with, with kids. They ask what... Uh, what the fuck is it? They ask what shots you want your kid to get when they come out the womb or something like that. They ask you, and you have the ability. You 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 have the ability to choose. Now you would think you would, you would like to think that most people would just make the right decision, but it, I just can't imagine in in a in a system or a society where someone else always has the right to say what you should do. That's all. I just want people to have the right to choose. That's abuse. All. I think the government should intervene because when you have a society that's addicted to. But I know people are stupid. Opioids so. or crack. It spreads like wildfire. And I've seen it firsthand. It's very difficult to control without the help of government. Now, on the topic of abortion, that one's, you know, very complex. And in general, I always want to favor a woman's right to choose. But I think there's also a very fundamental question that both of you brought up is um, at what point is a fetus a human or a person? Let's say a, a child is eight months in the womb, and at that point, the baby has a heart, the baby has a brain. Okay, has... bro, having an abortion at eight months is crazy. Who? <laughs> what the Legs, fuck? Has arms? Do you think it's okay for that Who is to waiting be terminated? That long? Nobody opinion. is doing that, and nobody yeah, I, I is gotta, having abortions I gotta see that with viable fetuses unless it is a medical emergency that will kill the baby and the mother. I gotta see that statistic. That doesn't happen. <laughs> My name is Ben. I'm a business consultant for a telecom company, and I'm a liberal old dad. When it comes to the abortion issue, I am not exactly sure where I stand. I am not pro-choice or pro-life. My name is Dawn. I'm a regional sales manager for a dial. Wait, what? I'm not pro-choice or pro-life. If you're pro-choice, you are pro-life. Personally. Because you're prioritizing the life that exists by giving them a choice. What the fuck? This company, as well as a therapist, and I'm a liberal parent. As far as my views on abortion, to be honest, it just makes me very sad. Uh, I can't believe that we are moving backwards by taking people's rights away to choose what's happening to their body. Not being an LGBTQ plus ally makes someone a bad person. The fuck type of question is that? <laughs> it's strong. It's, isn't a, it? it's, right, a, it's a general strong. way. What y'all think? Wait, not being an LGP, LGBTQ plus person, not being an LGBTQ plus ally makes a person bad. No one's saying that though. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, how about we understand what the word ally means? If everyone has the same definition of the word ally, then let me see. I'm about to be, I'm about to be like the kid. I'm about to be on my Ben Shapiro over, over, over technical shit. Um, ally definition. <laughs> what does ally mean? A state formally cooperating with another for a military or other purpose. Combine or unite a resource or commodity for mutual benefit. So like, here's the thing. I think, y'all niggas gay. I think, right? Uh, what is it? I think there's a difference between being pro LGBTQ plus and being uh, an LGBTQ plus ally. Cause like for me, it takes more to be an ally. Like you really have to put more work in to be an ally personally. Like you gotta really be like, out in the field fighting for the rights like all the time every day for me to think that you are ally like i'm pro i'm pro lgbtq plus 
but I'm like I could be honest with myself and admit that I'm not like doing any work to like forward those rights. And most of the people who say that they're an ally aren't doing any work to for those rights either. It's more than just like saying that you're LGBTQ plus or putting a flag in your bio, just like people do with Black Lives Matter. They do the same thing with Black Lives Matter. Oh, I'm a Black Lives Matter uh, ally. No, you're not. You weren't at none of the marches. You don't fight for none of the rights. You don't you don't give a voice to any of the people that are, are smaller than you and give them a platform. You're not you're just saying that you are. But you can you could be pro these things and want love and support for these things without actually putting any work in. And I think more people should be honest about, you know, what it is that they're doing and what it is that they're not doing personally. So I don't think it makes you a bad person. But obviously, if you're trying to deny these people rights and access to shit, then, yeah, you're shitty, bro. You deserve to be in the ground with the rest of the niggas that think that way. But you got to be honest about what you're really doing. You know, they fake claiming. Yeah, you could be you could be fake claiming. That's what I feel like that is. It takes a lot. I don't think people realize how much work you have to do to be an ally, like a real life ally. Like that's a lot of work. To put it, I would question someone's empathy. That's it. And their awareness of the other people around them, because I guarantee you, you know someone that's absolutely LGBTQ. and their environment. Right. Discussing the validity of the existence of other human beings <laughs> isn't a political issue. That's like it's, it's there. That, there's like something wrong with you yes. if you like. No, trans people don't exist. Obviously, they do. I would like to think that it's a safer. And that's the fucked up part because we're just in a space now where people are so shitty that there are other people that have the ability to put themselves on a moral high ground because there are some other people that are just so obviously shitty human beings like if you don't agree that that gay people and trans people and bi people and all these other um you know, people that fit these different spectrums just have the exact same rights as everyone else. It's so easy to put yourself at a morally higher position than them without having to do anything for the people that you advocate for. It's so easy because people are so, such big pieces of shit. And then you get stuck in this space and you never progress to actually help those people. It's so weird. I feel like I'm not saying they're in that position because I don't know what they do or what they don't do. But it's really easy to sit in that space. Our world <laughs> yes. to be LGBTQ, but that yes. would be naive. Of course. People are getting murdered for being trans, uh, you know, yes. and, I, I, yes. and, and gay. It's scary. I have three kids. I have three boys. Oh. One of them is trans. I don't know why this I that. worry that, I mean, for however progressive uh, a new generation seems, that... Um, you know, I have to think about, will there be violence done? Which, I mean, every parent worries about violence. That's part of the gig of being a parent. Yes. Um, and I've got an extra, I've got a, I've got a new layer. <laughs> My child is in a wonderfully privileged situation okay. where they have a lot of support. Okay, okay. At the same time, though, no, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take it back. That's your mom? Really? Um, at the same time, though, no, I gotta, I gotta bring myself back, though. Because there's some systems that are set up that like the average person can't do anything about so support is sometimes the best thing that you can do to show you're an ally so it's case by case basis but oftentimes there's more that you can do that helps but as they get older as their get, circle, gets wider, circle gets wider and you... my sphere of influence wow that was so fucked up you lie for what what you lie for influence That's crazy. gets uh yep. less effective as yes. they get older that's fucked yeah. up gang Hi, I'm Unprovoked. Cindy. Nobody I even am a asked. I'm a mom and I am a liberal parent. One of my children came out as trans two years ago. Mine and my husband's response was, that's great. Would you like to go by these pronouns? And would you like to pick out a name? Let's uh, make sure that we talk to a gender specialist so we know what options there are. And cool. we'll just take this one step at a time we'll move forward with the best information possible okay can they disagree a step forward stop talking about her titties they nice though i Let's can stop. provide a unique perspective on this because i'm actually bisexual um so okay. i think uh not being an ally as long as you're not harming people you're not harassing people you're not posting on social media that these people suck then i don't think you're a bad person for that 
um, as okay. a Christian, I don't think that being LGBTQ aligns with God's um, view of the family it doesn't mean that I will disrespect them in any way. Okay, but what about your view? Like, what about your own personal, you know, belief system? But she's, how old is she? She's still a kid, though. So I'm not, you can't shit on kids because, like, they're not at the age to where everyone else gets to where it's like, oh, you know, I really. When I was 16, what did I, what, what's a problematic take that I had when I was 16? Mm, I can't really think of nothing. Uh, nah, I don't think I've always been perfect. Yeah, always been perfect. Yep. Light skin music. All right, what well, else? How was I? All right, bro. Anyway, I just think that it's a sin. As far as your faith is concerned, what would happen if your child came out to you that they were gay, bisexual, trans? I think that if the sin is not practiced upon, um, it's not a problem. It can be dealt with, especially with transition. <laughs> it can be dealt with this crazy. It usually comes from mental problems like what depression, the fuck? anxiety, and all those things. So how are you going to do that? That sounds like some like burn them at the stake type shit. What the fuck are you talking about? You think about? they can um, be kind of taught to not be gay? Uh, no, I Pray think the gay away. You support conversion therapy? Y'all are ganging up on her right now. Crazy, chill. She, she. I don't know how old, but she, 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 she a little person. No, I don't think that we can convert anyone into doing anything. I would not ostracize my child, but I would not support it. Just like I don't support any sin. So I, 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 I think that if you want, how would you not? How would you not ostracize them if you don't support their way of life? That would be the biggest rift in 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 the entire family. What do you want to be transgender? You could be transgender. We live in a again, I said a free nation. But if you're asking for my opinion, I believe that men and women are completely different. We have different chromosomes, different bone structure. Male and female are completely different. If you're, if you're a transgender woman, I still view you as a man. You could you could you know express yourself as a woman. That's fine. But I don't believe that society should automatically, you know, say that, okay, you're a woman. Let's say, for instance, there's a 18-year-old biological man, but says that they are a woman now. They still have male genitalia. They could walk into a woman's locker room and show off their male genitalia. I don't agree with that. I don't you can do that anyway. Not don't do it. Don't do it. But, like, why can't a straight man just go in and do the exact same thing? Why would it have to be limited to like, is that something, is that like a trans exclusive thing where it's like, oh, only these niggas are the ones that are uh, like going into a bathroom pretending, I guess, to be trans so they can go like expose themselves in the woman's bathroom? I don't think that's okay. That's, that's not happening. It is happening that's, though. Is, I, is it, it really that happening? That is I literally it's transphobia. It's, it's, it could happen though. It's rare and, though, and, but and not even a trans. It could just be a creepy. It's more common for a straight man to go into a woman's bathroom and try something than it is for a, a trans woman to go in there with the intent of, hey, let's show my dick off. Like, there's, I've never, unless there's a statistic for it i don't know guy like pretending yes. to be yes the creepy guys yeah. are i'm in much more danger in a women's restroom from yeah. a cis gender straight yeah i would think creepy so guy i know but I'm, I am I, guy yo too. honestly i'm at higher risk of just some random nigga assaulting me in a bathroom i think than a woman from a trans woman I, I personally like I I would think I would be I'm I'm at a much higher I think I'm at a higher risk personally. This I don't think happens. This is the excuse, you know. That's what I'm trying to say. So, so do you support uh, gender neutral bathrooms? Like women yes. and men can go into the same bathroom. Do you think that could increase the chances of of rape or assault? They, they already exist. It's interesting it's that men are only concerned about this rape in the bathroom when we're t having a conversation about trans folk. But, but gender neutral bathroom does stem from this idea though. No, this idea that rape is gonna suddenly go on the rise because of gender neutral bathrooms. Yeah, you make it seem like the reason that the rape is gonna occur is because, of, because of, uh, of trans women. Like that's what he's saying basically. This is why it's gonna go up and not just niggas that have been doing it for however long they've already been doing it. Stems from transphobia. The woman in the blue shirt, W? She kind of, she kind of going crazy. I'm Eden. I'm 16 years old, and I'm on the. <laughs> Your 
parents named you Eden and you are ultra religious. That is hilarious. A conservative teen side. I cannot wait until you go to college. No, that is not sexualizing a teen. I'm just saying she's going to have some experiences in college and they're going to broaden her horizon. That's all I'm saying. Um, I think that that's all I'm saying. I didn't say nothing else. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Do not call the FBI. Transitioning does more harm Ew. than good. And um, I think that we are born in the body that we're given and we should stay that way. God has created us in his image and I don't think we should change the way we are. Owning a gun is a basic human right. Mm. Um, I hate. <sighs> That's interesting. No, but I'm not mad at niggas for defending themselves. Like in this world, you kind of, you know, I think everybody has created a more dangerous person for themselves to defend themselves against than themselves to justify owning a weapon where they otherwise might not even need one. That's a lot of people, but some people legitimately need it. But I do think it's a lot of people out there that think the way I just thought. Um, no, I don't think it's a right though, but you can't like, how do you deal with this? You've already fucked up the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? You fucked everything up and now everyone's already paranoid. So it's like, how do you just, if, unless you just remove them all, I don't get how you take the mentality and that danger out of people's mind. I absolutely hate hearing about school shootings on the news and just shootings in general. Um, it's horrible. You know, this isn't like, you know, Spider-Man's not gonna save people. People He's have not. the right to protect themselves. A lot of mass shooters target gun-free zones because they know there's not gonna be a person who's going to uh, fight against them or shoot them back. There's a lot of mass shootings in, at schools and that's because schools I don't think they have do that at all. Zones. I view owning a gun as a right to defend myself. You look at countries that have banned guns in the past, the USSR, Nazi Germany, you look at China under Mao Zedong, they strip their citizens of arms so they could oppress them. And I think the reason why our founding fathers enshrined okay. the Second Amendment. Okay, wait. He's going back and forth too, because like, I, my brain is splitting I mean, apart because I'm trying to come to I'm trying to understand how he came how he came to this conclusion because they wanted us to protect ourselves against a tyrannical government got no chance. and to protect ourselves against danger around us too. I think that as a, from a okay, so you're what you're saying is what you're saying is the government gave us the right. The government has so much foresight to give everyone the right to bear arms against the government in case they decided to attack them is what he's trying to say so that we don't end up like the other nations that I just mentioned. He's basically saying the government gave us the right to protect us against the government that's going to attack us. And the second amendment is because they wanted us to protect ourselves against a tyrannical government. And to so the government did that. They they gonna give you the right to defend yourself against them when they later attack. Protect yourselves against danger around us too. I think that as a from a woman's perspective, if as a woman you get I got you get into a dangerous that makes perfect sense. situation, for example, with a man having a gun and knowing how to use a gun is the only way that will protect me. Having my tiny little pepper spray won't help me forever. I think definitely if you uh, take away guns, the bad guys will always get their guns one of way course. or another. I, like, I, I live in Los Angeles and LA has strict gun control laws. This is my perspective of it. I think LA has become a more dangerous city and I feel very unsafe walking down the street, just not armed. Crime is on the rise in America and I think one of the ways to stop crime is by owning a gun. But I definitely think that there should be this control in place to who buys guns you couldn't just be able to go to a store and buy a gun there should be regulations into who buys guns and who um shoots a gun this is a pointless conversation i actually debated whether or not i was going to sit down because i do believe people have the right to bear arms i do my issue is what kind of arms they're bearing i believe people should get to go hunt but do you need a semi-automatic rifle to do that i i i'm Nah, nigga, you want to prove that you a real man, bro? Go get a bear, bang that motherfucker up with a knife, dude. 
I'm tired of niggas acting like they tough because they go to animals with whole auto assault rifles and rifles and shit, and they sitting up camping in the trees and shit. Go fight that nigga. You a man, right? You 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 want to tussle with a bear? Go fight him. I want to see how you do. It's a, it's gonna be a real good story to tell your grandchildren, nigga. I wouldn't be one to bear. Knocked that nigga out, gutted him myself, and took him back to the house all on foot. But you won't do that because you really a bitch. You talking about, oh, I'm a man because I can shoot an animal from 25 feet away with an assault gun. Stop. I'll tell you about personally, I'm afraid of- You not about it, bro. You not gonna really fight him. Go square off with that nigga, dude. <laughs> personally myself, but I um, I just think there need to be stricter regulations with it. But um, Personally, I wouldn't let that happen to me. That's all I'm saying. by gunshot are women in a domestic violence situation. So mass shootings definitely don't want automatic rifles against that. Nobody needs them, but the most dangerous gun is the one in your home. I do want to ask you a question. Do you think that women should have the right to bear arms to protect themselves yes. against? Yeah, I never, I, I, I'm not against the right to. Own. He was about to have a gotcha moment there. He's like, wait, wait, wait. You think women should protect themselves? So that means you agree that all people deserve the right. That's, he definitely just had a gotcha oh moment God. in his head. The, the prompt was, do you think owning a gun is a human right? But do you think- And I don't agree with that. In my perspective, I grew up in, in a gun riddled neighborhood. I myself am a gun owner now because of the fact that I had to create some type of means of- <laughs> He said just get killed. Self-defense. So why did you disagree? I disagree because I would prefer not to be. I think it's not a human right as much as almost a necessity for a lot of people. I agree and, with And him. not everyone. There's a lot of neighborhoods that are very safe, but even in a safe neighborhood, you can be robbed, you can be killed. I've been stuck up several times with a gun to my face, you know? And all I could think of is, man, if, if I die, it's gonna be because I didn't have a weapon to help protect. Yeah, conservative teen is crazy. Like, how did you come to this conclusion of yourself? Never when I was growing up did I identify with a particular, like, party or uh, way of thinking. I didn't, I barely identified religiously when I was a teenager. Like, how do you know that this is what you are when you're 16, 17, 18 years old, bro? How do you know? Do you think that we should take away all guns from the entire world? Yes, if there was like a magnet, like Magneto from X-Men, and he just suck up all the guns, I think that would be such a better place. My political opinions have hurt my relationships with friends and family. <laughs> have I lost any friends over politics? No. If anything, I think my family and I have gotten closer because we never really talked about these things when I was growing up. And so that now that we're grown and we have these ideas, sometimes we can shoot them off to each other. It's like, not only am I kind of getting a bit of like how you used to feel back then, but you feel open enough now. Like this is a, we, I think it's like, it's, it's, it's this little discourse or whatever has created a safer space for people to get their feelings out. So for my family personally, it's made us, uh, a bit closer my friends and i don't really give a shit and i don't think my friends really have problematic takes like that so it's not really a problem like everybody pretty much agrees with the basic shit like these people deserve to be treated fairly you shouldn't attack these people you only do xyz if it happens like it's real basic it's not it's not that crazy you got friends no i just lied you're right i don't know why i thought that. i fuck I, that was bad bro me be honest with yourself. Fuck, that's, I need to take my own advice. <laughs> During 2020, when, you know, America got really, like, politically intense, and my teacher, she... That's when they got intense? It's 2020? That's when? Well, it was very... Appreciate the three months, appreciate the... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, appreciate the... Huh? Oh, yeah, appreciate the three months twice. Politically active, and she wanted us to, you know, speak our voices, and they found out I was conservative, and they said, okay, you're completely going against what we believe, like the whole school is very liberal, and they, I guess, they just kind of pushed me away. Did you feel like you would get bullied no. after? I'll just get looks. Wait, 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 what did he say? I was looking at the shit. They sure, she uh, was very politically active and she wanted us to, you know, speak our voices and they found out I was conservative and they said, okay, you're back. Okay, wait. You know. I'm sorry, let me hear that again one more time, sorry. During 2020 when you know, America got really like politically intense. And my teacher, she uh, was very politically active and she wanted us to, you know, speak our voices. And they found out I was conservative and they said, okay, you're completely going against what we believe. Like the whole school is very liberal. 
and they, I guess, they just kind of push. Not only do I believe, I do believe that, that, that a teacher would maybe want you to get into like ideas, like maybe certain arguments, even that's kind of a stretch because if he's a high school student, you're probably not even that deep into it at that point. But let's say he is, there aren't enough kids in your class that's going to give a fuck about what you think politically to, to like be like, oh, let's ostracize him. There aren't enough kids that are even care about or know enough about it to care what you think about it. If they was bullying you, it's because of whatever the fuck else you got going on. Not because you conservative. Push me away. Did you feel like you would get bullied? No. After? I'll just get looks. Some people come up and say, you're a racist or you're xenophobic. You know, they would tell me, oh. You mean to tell me like mad kids in your class just like walking up to you? Nah, Sean, shit has changed. Okay, possibly. I haven't been to high school in like, damn, when was that? Don't dick suck me, please. It's been a while. I've been in high school since 2014, I want to say. But still, even like college wise, like, to a, okay, now it's 90 years. I shouldn't have I said support nothing. support Trump, but I just brushed it off. I told him, hey, I respect that you think like this. Please respect me. I think you did that not that is... say that. Um, whether or not we have the same ideas, I think that that is still an admirable quality. Yeah. Despite getting looks or feeling like maybe you don't belong. That That's not admirable. <laughs> you, if you want to be, if you want to have beliefs that are rooted in racism or homophobia, bro, like that's not admirable. I'm not going to respect that opinion. Even if it's just you saying that, like what? I don't give a fuck. Fuck your opinion and fuck you. I don't care. That you're still, um... You have your convictions. I noticed. Yeah. So I, I can respect that you're convicted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think being liberal, we think of the right as being stuck in the sand. It's interesting to hear that liberals were not having his right opinion. I think that everyone should have their opinion. Well, I think we're talking about issues that aren't a matter of opinion, but mm. a matter of your morality, the value of human lives. I've had to personally True. block a few people on Facebook, family members, oh, wow. mostly men that are married to the women in my family. I'm like, hey, this conversation is really getting personal and hurtful. And if you carry on this way, I'm gonna have to block you. Were they harassing you? Uh, I, I feel very harassed, yeah, I'm belittled. They don't need to be harassing you, bro. Sometimes, like Facebook is crazy, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro, but like, they don't need to be harassing. If I see some shit that you said, or some shit that you're doing that I don't like, like, that's enough. Like, you don't have to be harassing me or be in my face like that. I'm just done. Like, you, you finished, it's over. Like, it is what it is. There are niggas in my family I just don't talk to anymore. I've stopped talking to them years ago. It's not, it's not a problem. We ain't gotta have a confrontation about it. I don't feel like having to explain this shit to you, and it is what it is. It is what it is. That is what it is. Whatever. Who, who cares? Like, I'm not losing no sleep over it. But, uh... Were you ostracized or was there someone um, that you... I think it, on my end, it was myself. I understand people have different beliefs and I respect that. And I think it's good for everyone to share their beliefs. Uh, that's the way we progress. But <laughs> Sorry, I, stop. I think when people become ignorant or offensive consistently without any type of evidence or any type of backup behind that, that's the point where I say, you know what? I probably shouldn't be friends with you because you may smile in my face, but uh, behind my back, you, you have a different sentiment. You'll, you're more, you're far more likely to get into an argument with someone you know about some shit that they, well, it goes back to I haven't lost is. any relationships because me and my friends don't really dive into politics. We kind of just play video games and, and talk about comics. That's what I'm saying. The normal nigga here, bro. The normal nigga is, the, he's the one that's like, you know what? I'm in it, but I'm not really in it. Like, I just have some stuff. Like, he's probably going to be the one that out of all of them, out of all the kids, he's going to be like the most normal as he's coming up. Together. I think if you lose- Because he has the most, like, level-headed understanding for his age, I would say. The relationship over politics, that's kind of sad. Unfortunately, it's a uh, part of His dad, up. the liberal. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Hopefully, you won't lose any friends, but usually as Which you one? get older, you start to see those- That was a stupid question. Divide. <laughs> it's the, all right, it's a little clear I mean, you guys are older this than us. Was it like this going back now 20 years ago? Politics has changed so much, and I think you touched on it that now it's being associated. Wait, policy. Why you just called him an old as dirt just now? 
I thought he was about to say back in the 20s. Wait, why you do that? Hopefully you won't lose any friends, but usually as you get no, older, that's crazy. you see those divides a little clearer. I mean, you guys are older than us. Was it like this going back now 20 years ago? Politics has changed so much, and I think you touched on it that now it's being associated Bro, policy fuck? is being associated get with off my ethics. dick dude i haven't lost any friendships or relationships because i won't allow that to happen i believe that the majority of us probably about 80 percent are in the middle with varying degrees and there are those yeah. people who are very very conservative very very ultra liberal who are the outliers mm. well, I, I think I it's subtle where you have somebody that you meet with on a regular basis you talk with them you have a good time if topics get brought up and, and it's a it's a oh okay you're one of those they don't tell you that to your face but it's kind <laughs> of you know and also i think with the prevalence of social media people's opinions are a lot more out there i never understood why anyone posted political opinions on social media i think it's just annoying well i have three kids they know more about politics than i, I did know. when i was a voting age it's annoying yeah um <laughs> I think it's ah. very encouraging because they're, they're, they're it's annoying hearing it from people his age probably is what he means because like bro you come to me off some Jaden smith ass energy let's talk about the political uh and economical state of our world bro get the fuck out the house bro like i don't give a fuck dude i'm 16 17 i'm trying to smoke i'm trying to get lit i'm trying to you know what i'm saying let's go to this function Let's chill. Like they shouldn't be worried about that type of shit. That type, that type of shit. Like just be, just, just relax. Now, unfortunately, you don't have to teach them certain shit. But it's like, I get why he feels it's annoying. Nobody should want to get into this world, and you a child. They're going to be more informed when they are of voting age. I mean, yeah, it just it makes life more divisive. I mean, there's more arguments and stuff, and more more relationships ending because politics is such a big part of life. I, I promise you relationships aren't Scott. ending because of politics. I am a uh, liberal parent. I have many children. I have four. My oldest daughter is extremely left-wing. My uh, two middle daughters are uh, roughly right in the middle there. And then Chase is conservative. My name is Chase. I'm 19 years old and I'm on the conservative teen side. My dad's Scott. We talk about politics, uh, mostly uh, gun rights and the government in the economy. We disagree, but we we like hearing each other's side. The feminist. Bro, I think I disagree. I disagree with some of my family members on so much shit. On so much shit. It don't. It's not going to be a problem unless they want it to be a problem. Like. What? This, this is crazy. What the fuck? The feminist movement is overrated. This movement is overrated. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would say so. Yeah, I think so. I think feminist uh, movement is overrated. Uh, wait, did they say feminist or me too? I'm sorry. Tied the feminist oh okay well then this maybe maybe not i thought they i thought i don't know why my brain immediately read me too i don't know why i thought that immediately uh read me too feminist movement see i don't know enough about what the feminist movement has done unless y'all can enlighten me social ideology because ideologies don't do much which is why I understand why it can be something can be overrated if it's an ideology or if it's something that any person can attach themselves to. Like if every person can say that they are this thing once again without having to do anything, then the movement itself can be overrated if there are no results that come of it, is what I'm saying. So like for instance, now I'm a lady Movement play. is overrated. The reason I sat down is because feminism as we know it in social media and the marches is generally run by white women and we don't have a lot of intersectionality. 
women are still oppressed, not systematically, but socially. Uh, I would disagree with the first part. Uh, so you could still say that it's overrated, but it's still progressive. Being progressive is is like cool, I suppose. But like I said, what are you progressing to? This mom is a W, by the way. Like, what is the what is the result? The result I get what the result should be, but like, what is happening to to push it to that? You know what I'm saying? Like, we we are at a point now where women, like in certain parts of the world or in the U.S can't get an abortion that's new that's a new thing that was just recently passed that's like a that's like regression i'm not saying it's overrated but like what are we doing we're going backwards you cannot fix her Eh. Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger. Yeah, yes. and um, Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony. You know, total racist. The women that headed up the uh, suffragette movement—they were not inclusive. Of course, yes. And they wanted rights for white women. That's true. And that thread has followed us to be very exclusionary to uh, black women, disabled women, women of color, indigenous women. I don't think that feminism Fair. in America is based off racism. The reason why there's more white feminists is because there's a higher white population in America. So generally there's gonna be more white feminists. Wait, what did he just say? Feminist is because that feminism in America is based off racism. The reason why there's more white feminists is because there's a higher white population in America. So what do you think the feminism in America will be based off of? Whose rights do you think they will be fighting for the most if there are mostly white women in America? You just answered your own question. What do you mean you don't think that? It's You just said it. What are you talking about? See, this is why I'm more afraid, bro. I'm more afraid of my son ending up like this than I, I could ever be of him being or doing anything else. Anything else in the world is better than ending up like, well, and this is the fucked up part. He won't even end up like this. He still has room to grow. He still has room to change. Like that, that saying where it was like, uh, thought daughter or gay son, those niggas that used to walk around the mall and ask niggas that question, bro. It needs to be switched to debate, bro. That's, that's the only, that's the worst thing, bro. There's nothing worse that you can be. It's a debate, bro. Like, that's it. So generally, there's going to be more white feminists because of that. Hmm. I think that definitely in the beginning of feminism, feminists wanted uh, votes for women, that women would be allowed to work, would be allowed to go to universities <laughs> and such. I definitely agree with that, but I think that feminism has gone too far into saying my body, my choice, <sighs> and um, saying that women are not at all equal saying that women are being suppressed by white men you think that it's gone too far by saying that i don't think she like bro it looked like somebody literally he doesn't have a face he's just repeating talking points it sounded like it. it looks like she literally is not there and someone put her in a basement for five years and like did this thing back and forth holding the little clock up to her and like she's just hypnotized i don't even think she's there and There's no way she's there, bro. Such things. Like, I feel really bad. Uh, no. Uh, we got a long way to go. Not because she's a girl, but just because she's just... It doesn't seem like she's actually believing anything that she's saying. Like, it's like her father or her mother told her, you better get on this show, you better represent us right. There's just not enough done. In America or just in the world in general? Uh, well, America, for sure. The world in general is a heck of a lot worse than America. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> you don't care about that. That's the privilege. That's the privilege he was talking about. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> I think that women should be able to do everything that men can, but we also have to protect ourselves. So if you want to be a stay-at-home mom and do one of the hardest jobs on the planet, you absolutely should be able to do that. But you should also discuss with your partner and put in things into place so that you're protected if you choose to do that. Some women aren't doing that, like life insurance and things like that. I think part of feminism is being able to take care of yourself. Capitalism? is failing our society. Capitalism is failing our society. Failing? I mean, 
I was never really meant to work, right? Like, I don't... What am I thinking? <laughs> no, I mean, like... Yeah, like, I don't... The premise of what this is it was never meant to benefit the average person, so it's been doing what it's supposed to do? Not necessarily failing. This, uh, it's been... It's supposed to fuck us. A system that just values production, consumerism, production. And it's been like that. Production, consumerism, until you die, doesn't work for anybody but a very, very, very small I... percentage of billionaires. And it's all, it's all baloney. The, the system is rigged to keep workers working. Yeah, it's just, it's just there. And it's been there. And, and the rich just keep getting richer. Yeah, um, I think there could be some good in capitalism, which is like the innovation part of mm. it. But in general, capitalism definitely sucks uh, from the poor. There's a lot of industries that definitely shouldn't have any capitalism involved at all. The medical field, it's unjust that certain people get better care than other people just because they're more financially well off. Who are they to determine the value of life? The health- Bro, they gotta do something, bro. Like in my lifetime, we have got to, I don't know, some type of free uh, healthcare. Like if not free education, at least, Free healthcare gotta come, dude. Cause this shit is crazy. Like I, I don't need, I don't know if there'll ever be a thing or a fix for like it's all connected. It's all connected, but like just 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 be like, you know what, man, we put you niggas through enough. How about we just, you know You can go to the fucking doctor and not have to pay a thousand. Just for a checkup, dude. Like please. I'm not asking for nothing else but free healthcare. That's it. You can do whatever else you want. Care system creates such profit, and that profit is created off the misery of others, of the illness of others, uh, including the um, <laughs> prison system, where you have jails that are privately owned, because at oh, that yeah. point, what you have is a hotel, and you want to fill up the hotel. Why would there be a business that profits off of crime? That mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense. If you put profit ahead of people, people are going to suffer, obviously. So you said, um like only the billionaires succeed in capitalism and i gotta disagree with that because i like i'm the ceo of my own company a couple months ago i started a jewelry company and it's been, i'm not a billionaire but it's been relatively successful enough to like i can like make rent and and go through college a bit so you'll find out when you get older it's a lot more costs that come along with what you are uh speaking of but you're not the person that they're talking about like Okay, you're selling some chains, some watches, like, okay. For the average person, and I'm sure you probably get supported very strongly from your parents, that ain't enough. Well, I think there's people like me who own a small business who capitalism really benefits. I just gotta remember he's a child. It don't matter. If, if capitalism isn't the solution, then what is the solution? Do you want to hear it? <laughs> Socialism. Yeah. Socialism. So, so, <laughs> the problem with democratic socialism, I mean, you talk about how capitalism hurts the middle class, but in reality, if democratic socialism was tried. Like, never in my life if, am I bootlicking a nigga that I, I, for one, don't know, and that ain't putting not near a dollar in my pocket, who, if I worked for, would tell me, Elon, that I can't work from home, and it's still co the middle class are gonna be paying way more taxes, not just the rich. You see, the rich don't pay taxes because they don't work. They make money off assets. The they make they get, they make money off niggas so that they can get assets. What are you talking about? I hate this nigga, bro. I hate him so much. Middle class, they work. And because they're working, they're gonna pay more taxes under a proposal like Bernie Sanders or Oh God, bro, AOC stop talking, or, please. Or I, I personally am okay with paying higher taxes. I would love people who make billions of dollars to pay their fair share of taxes. But increased taxes for a better situation for people overall, that is exactly what I stand for. Fair. I'm not sure that uh, socialism Fair. is the answer. Yugoslavia before World War II did okay, but they didn't do all that great, and they were taken over quite quickly. What I'm thinking is capital- Sean Chill, he's just a snobby kid. I've been chill this whole time. Uh, and then two, he's not just a snobby kid. Like, 
this is the next, you know, Ben Shapiro, possibly. This is the next uh, fucking nigga with a podcast that don't know shit, that don't interact with real people, that views everyone as statistics and numbers, and they'll go on and try to influence other people to think the exact same way. He's a buffoon. Like, his ideology needs to be crushed. It's bad. It's not just an opinion. It's bad. It's bad. It's morality. Come on. It's not just him being snobby. Capitalism, although is not the best solution, is one of the best solutions for a democratic That's what society. I'm saying. Think this isn't an opinion. about wealth distribution. And then money becomes a very big uh, role, too, because the ones that have less money become envious of those that have more money. And then money is like, it becomes a god because you don't want anyone else to have that money but yourself. And if you, for example, look at the Scandinavian countries, they have a capitalistic market, but they have a socialist wealth distribution. And that's why it works over there. And I, I personally come from Europe, so I have seen that. So you think that works? A I, I personally don't think that works. I think it takes a lot of money from the rich and from the middle class. My name is Nathan. She's, she's hacked. Somebody hacked her mainframe. I'm 18 years old. I would like to ask the other side if they believe America is the greatest country in the world. If they disagree with that, I want to know what country they believe is better than America. Um, I this is the most bootleg fucking question I've ever heard in my life, bro. Just because you don't think America is a great country does not mean that you think that other countries are that much better. It could be a global... You can have global fucking issues, bro. Even though there are other countries that are better, you don't have to just be like, oh, well, these are the list. This is the, what, if you don't like America, list the best countries. What are you talking about? I, I do believe it's a blessing and it's a privilege to live in a country oh that God, gives you the liberty bro. and freedom and to express who you want to be. The American dream is dead. Nigga, there are, there's, he, he, he itching to do it, dude. You know you gotta do it. <laughs> I gotta. What you gotta say, mama? I gotta say I disagree with the phrase American dream and American dream uh, for, for who? You know, the Native Americans we slaughtered? Uh, the enslaved people? I mean, this, this romantic idea that there's this dream is just basically marketing for capitalism. You know, it's very, it's very well-funded propaganda and, and has it inspired good acts and good people to do good things? Of, of course, of course, because ultimately, in a large sense, humanity is, is good. But this idea of the American dream, I think, is, um, I, I think the fantasy of it is being torn apart a little bit. And I think that's actually exciting because it, it, it opens up room for something better, something more inclusive to grow. I ain't gonna lie. She just, I don't know. She just, she just spoke to it. Oh. Uh. W Snow Bunny Milf. Y'all niggas are so weird, but I agree. I agree. That was so hot. No, nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I think the phrase is kind of corny, but the idea that someone's like building themselves up in capitalism, I feel like that I kind of have done that a bit with my business. Uh, bro, you were not him, dude. I get it, dude, but you're not there, bro. You're not a billionaire, dude. You sold a couple chains to some niggas at the school, and that's cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on a young nigga's success, but you not there yet, bro. This don't apply to you, dog. Um, so I don't think it's dead. I do think the American dream is dying, though. You know, the American dream now is not the same as it was 30 years ago. Have a family, buy a home, have a great job, but now it's very difficult to buy a home. Income has not increased compared to the price of a house. You know, I do think it's dying though, but I don't think it's completely dead because there's a lot of immigrants who are still trying to come to America. America does have the highest immigrant population. 14% of our population are immigrants. We have a lot of people on our Southern border and I think they all want to come to America. Yeah, I think the American dream still exists and I can speak firsthand. I thought he said American dreams. And because my family came from a third world country. Bro, what happened to true religion genes, dog? Y'all still be wearing those? Y'all rate those still? I don't know what his point was. I, I just wanted to divert to jeans. 
What are those? Look, bro. Do we need to shop again? No, I'm um, not going to do it. But so does the American nightmare. The people suffering, not just here, but also around the world due to policies, due to exploitation, due to colonization, due to a lot of issues that are directly at hand to America. So there's a lot of blood on the United States hand. And a lot of people don't want to leave their home country, but the situations that have been created there are forcing people to leave. Like my mother would have loved to stay in Mexico, but unfortunately due to poverty, which had a lot to do with NAFTA and what happened in 1994, directly caused by the United oh, States, too. issues that created this migration. He's, so he's is it too. a better opportunity Look here? at our boy. Yes, my people come here and we send our money back to our ancestors. Would we just like to stay where we're from? Yeah, Hold on. Be a much better option. This ball As an immigrant spitting. myself, I definitely think that the American dream still exists. We long for the opportunities that people have here in America for. Bro, so you're not even from here and you. The job opportunities that people have, the innovations that are available in this free market economy, this capitalist country. So, so the American dream is in the eye of the beholder. If you're an immigrant or if you live here, it's different. It's going to be different. I don't like the idea of the American dream, but. I am a person who's still going to always believe in hope. If you work hard and you take advantage of opportunities, you can make a difference in your life. I mean, you're an example of it. I'm so amazed by you. I think it's awesome what you're doing um, at such hmm? a young age. I am very, very impressed with you three. My hope for you is that you stay open-minded. His father's right there. And that you're always willing to be learners and not just listeners. Yeah. So. All right, great. Thank you for coming today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Bro. She the next Cassie. I'm going to be honest with you. She right here, bro. She's too void. She has to be into some. Some going to happen. I don't know why, but she just it's like a walking there's some in her, bro. There's some in her, dude. Some in her, dude. Some going. I don't know, but bro, please, please, watch her. This is the. This is not. I don't get good vibes. I don't get good vibes. Granted, the nigga behind her not good vibes either, but I trust my life around him way more. Not really though. He might be the next Kyle. Who knows? Who really knows out here? I'm not gonna put that on him. I'm not gonna put that on him. He just got some shitty takes. That's all. But fuck, somebody got her looped. Somebody got her looped. Um, this was a, I won't say eye-opening video. I just can't believe you, like, I didn't think about this before I clicked on it, but I just can't believe you'd call yourself as a teenager a conservative. I've never heard that before.